said that we're going to his favorite spot by the creek. Welcome back to my channel. I'm Crosby, if you haven't seen a video before. We're currently at our first campsite of our USA road trip and it's freaking amazing. It's like 95 acres of beautiful farmland right outside of Birmingham, Alabama. And we actually are here through a service called Harvest Hosts. And if you've never heard of that, we just discovered this. And basically you pay like 80 to 100 bucks for the whole year and you get access to over 2,000 campsites across the entire US at wineries and breweries and farms like this one and you don't pay anything. It is dry camping, so you have to have you know your own toilet and stuff like that. But I mean, it's just a really cool way to see the local area. Henry told us that if you walk about half a mile around the fields, you get a really beautiful view of the sunset. So we're walking there now. We're just gonna enjoy the sunset and the beautifulness. And I'm gonna drink my rosé champagne. Cheers. <gasps> Look at that. Sound of the generator in the morning. Oh, it's so pretty. All the sheep are like running around over there. We got up really early this morning because we went to bed at like 9 30 because we were unaware that the time changed in Alabama compared to Florida. So, you know, we texted our harvest host, hey, we'll be there at like 4 5 o'clock, and then suddenly the time changed, and it was like 3 30. We're almost here. We were like, oh. So we went to bed very early and woke up at 5 30. At least I did. Dylan, Dylan slept in a little bit. Had to. Yeah. But now we get to enjoy the beautiful sunrise, and it's so awesome. I might work out a little, or at least go on like a fun walk. And then we're gonna go into town, into Birmingham, and do some work. We're shooting a humongous property today. So I'm gonna get my steps in. It's gonna be great. Hi. What's up? Hi. Hello. You're so majestic. So I've made a friend. Her name is Blanca and she is one of the dogs that is in charge of herding and protecting sheep on the farm. And she walked up, she was like walking around the grass earlier, and I went up to say hi, she was like super nervous, but eventually I was super nice, and she came up to me very slowly, and then we became friends. And then I went inside to change, and she stayed out here waiting for me. Hi, baby. It's okay. Hi. She, she's a little nervous, but she's so nice. <laughs> oh. We're gonna go on a little walk together. And I think she'll follow me because I saw the owners last night on a walk this way and she was walking with them on the side of the fence. Little waterfall. The other dog's coming this way. It's my next friend. <laughs>
WD-40 has saved our lives multiple times already. <laughs> Example A. Example A. This is, I guess, not like a total necessity, but it squeaks so oh, it loud. Is a necessity. Even when we put it on, like a few days, it'll start squeaking really loud again. Well, no, it's been squeaking because we haven't used it in a, in a few weeks. Well, I know. So it's just been sitting and rusting yeah. for a little bit. And then the WD-40 is what saved us <laughs> with the black tank valve anyways. Anyways, the only thing that's kind of like meh with harvest hosts is you can't hook up usually. So we are completely out of water. So our fresh tank is basically empty. So we are heading to our next harvest host. But before we go, we want to fill up because we just shot a huge property and I am extremely sweaty and I need to shower. So we found this RV park nearby and we're at just like a spot here and no one seems to be monitoring it, so we're just gonna fill up and leave. I don't know if that's bad, okay. don't well, yell at me. You know, I asked, I was look. we drove around the entire thing, trying to look for somebody. Yeah. There's no check-in area, there's nothing. You just, I guess you have reservations, but we were gonna pay to put the water in, but there's, there's nobody here to take our money. <laughs> I wanna be a good person. I don't wanna steal water, but I mean, we have to go places. Should I double water filter? Yes. I should. Yeah, if you can, because the water keeps tasting weird. So uh, we're gonna double filter this one and hopefully it tastes less weird. And I'm also gonna filter it through the Brita. But I think we might honestly just start buying like big things of water for drinking water and then just use the hose, the hose <laughs> and use the, the sink water for uh, cleaning and showering and everything. But I'll keep you updated on the water taste. If anyone has tips on how to make your water not taste gross, let well, me know. Thank we, you. We still haven't gotten our uh triple water filter yet. Yes, we are gonna get a triple water filter. Still rookies after all, everyone. Don't judge. It's working. What are you doing? Ew. Mm. Oh, that's actually really good. <laughs> it's double filtered. <laughs> Yay, I can't wait to shower. It's a beautiful sight. Me and Dylan feel so much better because we just showered and so much dirt came off of me. I know that's gross, but like when you're in an RV or on the road, you appreciate showers so much more. So we're very happy, but we are in our new campsite, or I guess it's kind of a campsite, our harvest host. We're at a brewery, Soluria Brewery. I cannot say brewery for life. Brewery. Brewery. Soluria Brewery. <laughs> brewery. You know what I mean? Um, we are here and I'm super excited. So it's a Tuesday right now and Karen who is the owner came out I think she's the owner. She came out and greeted us super sweet and apparently they do taco Tuesday every Tuesday So it there is a taco truck outside a food truck So we're about to go get tacos because we're freaking hungry and then they have a trivia night um, at 7 p.m. So we'll see if we can make that I really want to but we have a lot of work. So we're just gonna see what happens um, But but yeah, so that's the plan. I'm very excited Go explore this brewery. Me and Dylan need a beer after today. We worked so much. Yes. And we still have so much work to do tonight. A lot. A lot. So, yeah. <laughs> Got the goods. Dylan, what do you got? Pork, chicken, steak. Uh, this is Mexican sausage. Tacos. All these tacos. So good. And then I'm a vegetarian. They didn't have many options, but I got a bean tostada, beans and rice, and then we got chips and salsa and queso. And then I got this beer. This is actually a cider. It's the peach mango cider. And Dylan, what'd you get? Um, I got a Cory IPA. Do you like it? I actually do. It's pretty good. Yeah, mine's pretty sweet. And she was saying this is the less sweet one, so I'm glad I got this. We're gonna grab. This is needed. 
So we're staying right over there. And here's home. So I'm keeping the windows open for now to air the place out. We are boondocking right now, so we don't have any electricity for AC, but it's not bad, honestly, and tonight's getting down to 64. But to be honest, I think we are literally just gonna work the rest of the night. We have a lot of stuff to do on the computer, both of us, and you know, I would love to go to trivia night and explore Birmingham a little bit more, but the reality is we both are still working a lot um, and we can't, you know, be traveling as much as we'd want to, like actually, you know, exploring because we are still working. So that's kind of a reality of living on the road is, you know, work doesn't stop. Um, but yeah, I'm probably gonna like snooze a little because I'm dying and then get back up and start working for the night. Not a bit. It's like a little nap. But apparently there was a beautiful sunset. So let's go check it out. <laughs> 